It is Saturday and I had planned to build the other green IKEA cabinet. I'll put a picture here on the screen of what it looks like. It's the Rudsta and it's like this beautiful green color. So hopefully this one's a little bit easier to put together because it is a bit uh, shorter. <laughs> And I did pre-order some shelves and they took a little bit longer to get in. And then I was so focused on like my website and everything that by the time they got in, it was kind of just put on the back burner. So I got this cabinet like two and a half months ago and I'm finally ready to put it together. So we'll see. I kind of forget what I ordered now because it's been so long. Hopefully I don't need anything else. See, so yeah, enough jabbering. Let's get started. I'm super excited. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. We have a chai here with us and then we have a Luna here as well. They might get very interested in our little box that we're opening. That is so beautiful. This is like one of my favorite colors. Oh wow, look at that. Can you see the color of it? I don't know if it's gonna come off that well on camera. That is beautiful. We have our side panel. Oh, this has glass. Oh, we got a glass panel. Definitely don't wanna break this. Oh no, do I have to drill another hole for the cords? Oh, I don't even know where that thing is. That little uh, hacksaw thing, the little thing that screws, drills a hole. <laughs> I built the entire cabinet, the Millsbo by myself and put it together by myself. And I remember using that little drill and I had a hard time with it. I didn't even think about that. Oh no, I gotta find it. And I don't even know if the drill is charged. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll have to figure that out. These are glass pieces here, which I'm replacing the glass with the uh, modern aqua. I did invest in those. I don't know. I like the wire shelves because my Millsbo has the wire, but I feel like trying to find a wire that would fit the size of this cabinet would probably be a little difficult and I just figured, I don't know, I just spent the money and bought them. Another glass piece. We have three glass pieces. manual. I don't feel like it'll be too too complicated to put together and the glass paneling is already here in the shelves you know with the mills bow you have to actually insert the glass paneling which is so nerve-wracking because <laughs> uh, I didn't know what I was doing for that one. So at least the glass is already in so yeah you're basically just screwing all the sides together. There is 20 diagrams and steps. That's a lot. There's like a lot of little screws and clicks and notices in here. A lot of little X's telling you not to do certain things a certain way. I don't really know what it means because there's no words. There's just like a finger pointing and then an X. So you have to kind of interpret what the diagram means. Yeah, I'm just going to start at step one. Uh, it looks like we're building the side panelings first and inserting the shelves, like the bottom layer. And then it looks like we tackle adding the glass panelings on all three sides. And then we add the back paneling on after that. And then we are adding, I think the door and the top last 
is what it appears. So, and then you add your glass shelving in last. All right, well, we'll start with step one and then drill our hole once we get to step four. I'll have to pause and find out where the heck that even is. I'm not looking forward to that drilling through metal. So there's a side panel that has a hook, which I think is the, this is the door frame. So we need the one that's not the door frame. They have an X on this one in the photo. So we're not gonna be working with this one just yet. So we're gonna need two screws. We're gonna need our Allen wrench. And then we're gonna need two side panels. This one has like a thing at the top. So, and this one doesn't. So it looks like we need the ones that don't have the little pieces here. So the ones that are just flat. There are screws that are cl closer together. And then on the flip side, the screws are further apart. Or the ones that are closer to the edge goes first is what it looks like. They hook onto this little piece here. Step one is complete, 19 left. All right, so this is the very back of the cabinet. So it looks like step two is adding the door piece on. This little latch here is the door piece. This one goes here. And then we're just screwing this piece into here. It's actually pretty impressive. Like I thought the size was gonna be smaller, even though I saw it in store, it just, it feels bigger than what I actually thought it was, which is kind of cool. Next we add the bottom panel on. So this one doesn't have any screw holes and this one has screw holes. So this one is the, this one is not the bottom, the one with the little screw holes. So the flat side with the sticker goes on the bottom. So this is the top. Okay, and then we are screwing all of these in. I'm really gonna do each one a little bit so I make sure that they're all able to screw in. We are now in the garage. <laughs> so I brought out the paneling here and I found the drill bit. This is what I use for my Millsville cabinet and yeah, I don't know. I had a really hard time. I remember I was really scared so I'm probably gonna be nervous to drill the hole again but I have this and then I have a drill and I don't have like any eye protection. I did have like glasses, but I don't know where they went. I just have my sunglasses. Uh, I'm just gonna be really careful. I have a pair of like gloves. These aren't like protective gloves by any means, but I'm just gonna put them on. I feel better. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's see if I can drill this hole. So I put a piece of marker, just a dot right here where I need to roughly drill. Uh, it can be anywhere in this corner. I just didn't want to make it like too close to the edge. So I'll probably go like right about there and do my hole. Cause this is the, this is the front of the cabinet. So when you stand it up, because right now it's on the side like this. So when you stand it up, this is the back right, right here. So that's where I want my hole. I could do the back left, which actually maybe I should change it. Maybe I should do the back left because the outlet that I am using where I have the cabinet, the outlet is on the left. So the cords will have less reach if I do it on this, if I do it on this side up here. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> I 
I have no idea why this is getting stuck. It won't drill. I'm about to go say some choice words and let off some steam and I'll be back when I finally get this thing punctured through the metal. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's driving me crazy. I hate tools. <laughs> I got it. Son of a beep is what this thing is. <laughs> that took forever. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the heck, why I was having so much trouble with that, but dang. I'm glad I did it on the underside because this is all scratched up, but at least, at least this side is nice and that's the side I care about. And I have some grommets, white grommets that I'll just put in here so that it's not sharp because that was a pain in the butt. I don't remember it, this giving me that much trouble before with the other one. It was just so slow to get to cut through this. I don't know, but I got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got our hole. So I'm going to wipe this and clean it because I have shards of metal everywhere and clean up this mess and then we'll hook this board on and continue on with our cabinet. <laughs> I was just eating a snack. I took like a 10 minute break. So we are now 10 minutes after one. We have started this I think an hour ago and yeah <laughs> the the drilling of the hole set me back but that's okay i have two different grommets these were from the ikea millsbow cabinet i forget which one i think i ordered one and it was too small i think this one yeah it literally goes right through it <laughs> so i'm glad it came in a two pack because now i have an extra one and oh gosh it should be like a perfect it. Yay! Perfect fit. You can't really notice it too much from the back. You can kind of see where I scratched it trying to drill that hole. But the front, this is all I care about. The front is beautiful. And then I can like fit my cords through here. It's not focusing. There we go. So that's the front. It looks nice and clean. All right, let's hook this bad boy on. Okay, so this little piece goes here on the bottom. Ew. Oh wait, do I have to attach something to here first? Yes, I do. Ah, <laughs> I was like, where is this piece at? I couldn't find it because they just like, put everything into the bag together, but it's in the red thing. So this little latch thing is what we need. This and we need a screw. There's like nothing to screw onto here. What? I am so confused. Okay, so now I'm moving away from this and it wants me to add the feet on. It's wanting me to use these to push into here. It doesn't seem like that's a good fit though. I wonder if this goes like this way. Oh God, that makes total sense if it goes that way, but still it doesn't. Oh, and now I can reach this screw hole. No wonder I'm such an idiot. coming together nicely. Now I can use the little green things to put in these holes. Do they just sit on top? Well, 
Well, mine are loose. This one fit nice here, but this one, they're all loose. I don't know, that thing's stupid. <laughs> Next, we need these two pieces and then we are putting, uh oh, oh. Putting these things in these holes. Well, why are these fitting so well and those ones don't? Okay, I had us put the thingies in here, but we're not using these right now. Okay, now we get to add the glass cabinet pieces on. And it has, I was like trying to see the difference between these two photos, like it has an X here, but it looks like there's a piece closer to a line here and then there's a piece that's further away from the line. That's the only difference I can see. So it looks like the top is the piece closer to the line is what I can tell. So I'm gonna work on, I guess, getting the panelings on and then the bottom goes into, oh, I wonder that's why they're loose because something fits into them. I wonder if that's why. It wants us to do this side over here first. Are they all the same though? It just says these little pieces closer to the edge goes to the front, but I don't think it matters which one's top or bottom. So this goes in here. Okay, and then these just screw on the end. I think that was it. That was pretty easy. So this little piece just slid right into here and the little things that we put on and then we're just gonna add the screws onto the end to lock that in place. We're on step 11 now. Okay, the only difference with the 11, so we're adding the glass paneling on the other side. Now this one is saying, you want the paneling further away. So we basically are flipping it around. So that goes on the outside. Okay, yeah, still the piece closer to the little stick things, what are the pointy things? The edge that's closest that they're on goes in first. I don't know, it just seemed like it was the opposite. Okay, that was really easy. 13 is the back paneling, which is the big green solid piece. So this is the big back piece. Okay. So there's a top and bottom. This is the top piece with the screw holes. I don't understand what that means. Okay, so we're screwing the middle and we're screwing the end. So I need four of those screws. Looks like we need this little black screw here. And from the picture, it wants us to make sure that we screw it in all the way. So it doesn't want us to leave a little bit out, it wants us to screw it in flat. So we just, yeah, screw that in here and that's like the door part. There's like a little screw hole at the top of this that I have to screw this black piece in. Oh man, kind of tore some paint off of there. Oh well, <laughs> door opens. So as I was screwing this one in, it was like screwing not in the little black hole. It was screwing onto the actual metal. 
So you can kind of see that I damaged it there. So I guess when you're putting the door on, just make sure that you're actually getting it into the hole and not the metal. Okay, next we add this top piece. I got it. <laughs> you have to open the door. Open the door and then slide it and then it fits. Oh my God. Okay, and then there's two screws that screw into the back of the cabinet. Okay, so 19, the last step is the little pieces for the shelves to sit onto the little ledges, but what the heck is 18? I still have like all these pieces in here. Oh, is this just to anchor it onto the wall? Because I'm not anchoring this onto the wall. Is that what this means? Right, so let's open her up. Yeah, I got these delivered probably six weeks ago. I honestly, I don't even remember which ones I ordered. Okay, so I got ones with flowers. I know they make a Monstera one, but I don't know why I didn't get that one. I kind of wished I did, but I still like the flower one. So that's the design I got. I do have little screws for the Barina lights because I'm gonna do, they, I guess it's pre-built to do, yeah, I can do one or two lights per shelf. So are these gonna fit on the little plastic pieces that I just put in there? That's nice that the holes are in here already to hang the Barina lights. That actually looks really good. I was a little worried it wasn't uh, gonna fit well. It actually fits really nice. That looks super good. Maybe one day I could upgrade my regular Mills bow. I honestly, I don't know why this cabinet was like stressing me out so much. I just feel like things were a lot more complicated than they should have been. I feel like that's the case with me though. I go to do something, a project and it doesn't go together as smoothly as I would like. So this is, for, this is the Rudsta tall full shelf, I believe. And I think for the two of them, cause I didn't get a corner shelf. So I just realized that, that whatever I go in here can't be very big cause unless I just do one shelf like here and then this will probably just be for small plants though. Cause yeah, I didn't do like a split shelf. I think they had ones on their website where you could do like a split and then you can do just a corner shelf. I think having a corner shelf actually would have been nice and then I can fit a taller alocasia or something in here, but I just opted for the two full shelves. These are really fancy. But I think for these two, I paid, I think it was like $60, if I remember correctly. I'll have to look back. It looks really good though. The finished project is beautiful though. 
I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy with the color and everything. Now this bucket is everything that I bought or had that I already had that was like in addition. So these are the Verena lights. I think I stole one out of here. Did I steal one? Yes, I stole one out of here for my mini one. So there should be three lights left. So enough for each shelf. So I'll have to work on screwing those on. And then what else did I get? Okay, these are the fans I got. I think I just got one fan. Yeah, I just got the one because I feel like the one in here is plenty for because it's a smaller cabinet. This is a different fan than what I have in my actual Ikea cabinet. I don't know, I just went with this one. And this is a USB, so I did get a... I wasn't sure how long. Yeah, this isn't very long, so I did get a USB extension cable so that the cord was longer. And then I think I got... Oh yes, okay, so I got a power strip that has a USB on it and then I have like some plugs. I'm trying to look at the time. We're going to dinner tonight with our neighbors. We haven't hung out with them in a couple weeks. And so that'll be nice. I haven't been out of the house since Monday when I went to the post office and today's Saturday. I have been a hermit in this house all week. So it'll be nice to like get out a little bit and not think about things. So we need these little pieces here, the metal pieces to hook onto the modern aqua shelves to hang the lights. I should probably take the shelf down. It'll probably be easier to install these. I said not to install them tight. This is gonna be much easier if I just take the shelf out. Good. Do the bottom one. So there's little side. I didn't notice that little side cut out here for the cord to come straight through. I was wondering about that because if it was just a straight flush fit, then the cord wouldn't be able to fit through. So that's nice. If you didn't know, the Brinas have like a little end piece. If you're not using it, you can stick it down in there so dust and stuff doesn't get trapped down in there if you didn't know that. All right, and this will hook right into, oh, uh oh. Now, what did I use to hook these through? I thought these went through. So those are a different hook. The ones that hook on the, cause those are the Brina T8s. So they came with, I think they came with different hooks. So I guess I'm just gonna have to zip tie these here cause there's not a way for this to hook on here. So I just did a little zip tie here and then I can hook it through there like that. And then I can snap on there. kind of looks stupid. It's like it's floating in the air. <laughs> uh, the stickers don't work though. So I just used two metal hooks up there and I can kind of slide it around if I want to. 
Okay, I'm gonna leave it in the back like that because if I do, if I turn it long ways, I'm gonna have like up on the ceiling, I'm gonna have the same issue again where it's hanging down too low. So I'd rather just have it in the back and then I can scoot it forward if it's like uh, not enough air circulation. Once I have a plant in front, you honestly, I won't really notice it too much. I'm definitely glad I bought that ex uh, extension cable. Honestly, it still fits through the sides. It doesn't even need the little cracks. It still fits. Super happy I drilled that hole. So I got the fan there in the back. That'll circulate. And then I'm not weather stripping or anything because I don't really use weather strip. I don't really need it. Like if the door's closed and everything, like humidity should stay roughly 70 and that's plenty. Like I don't need 80, 90 plus humidity. 70 is perfectly fine. I bought this a while ago. It's like super, super sticky double-sided tape. I could just use this. I feel like this might work instead. Instead of trying to do the magnets. Okay, so I have a strip of that on here and it's like extremely heavy duty. Whoops, my memory card is full. I've been filming for too long. I've been filming like almost three hours, so I had to switch it to a new one. I, I couldn't delete anything off of this one. So um, what I was saying is the cords don't really bug me that much. I could switch these shorter Barina ones to the longer ones because I do have a couple extra, but even if I do, I'm gonna have too much cord to bundle up and hide. I would just rather leave it as is because I don't really notice it once the plants are actually in here, you know? Ah, so I think we're actually done. I'm gonna slide this over in the spot that I'm gonna keep this in. And the only thing that, that we have left to do is to hook up the outlet timer. I have an extra cable box that I'll stuff all the cords in because I wanna, the white greenhouse, the small one, I have like an extra cord. I kinda wanna stuff all them into the box together and hook up the uh, little timers for them so the lights come on and off automatically. And then we'll put some plants in here. <laughs> That's the size of the big one. I need this one for the outlet that I have. And then the cords slide in through the cracks and stuff. And it just, the lid closes over top and you can, literally can't see any of the cords. It's just a box and it looks so much better. All right, so this one should work for these down here. We have lights now. <laughs> Uh, it took me a bit to get all the cords situated in the box and then the new outlet timer. I decided to go ahead and mess with this because I had to download the Govi app, this here. So the ones that I currently don't have on Wi-Fi, I'm going to switch to these ones. Cause yeah, I don't know why my other ones quit working, the new ones of the Blink brand. So I haven't used these before. So let me show you what I did. So the fan is currently on. It's working. It's very quiet. You can see. So all three Barinas are connected into each other and the Barina cord and the fan cord, they're coming down through here. And then I'm going to put Luna's bed back here. So you won't be able to see these cords stretched out. So I did have the cable box. I went ahead and hooked all the cords in here. I had it on the floor and so it was, it, this wasn't as stretched out, but then I wanna put Luna's bed here cause she loves to sleep here. So I just stretched this one a little bit further and this is the new thing plug that I bought. So I have the lamp 
cord going into one. It has three outlet plugs and then two USBs. So the fan USB, I bought the extension and put that on. The extension was right here. So that is plugged into the USB. I have the Barina lights to uh, this one. I had one for this one and then the other one cord for the three lights. So it took all three of those plugs and then I kind of have them all kind of squished down in here. And then this fits right on top, nice. And so that is nice and secured. So then I don't have to worry about like the cords being all crazy. And then I have the main hub plugged into the outlet timer. So now I have that to come on at eight o'clock every morning and shutting off at 9 p.m. So now I don't have to manually, I was manually turning this off and on every day, so now I don't have to worry about it. So yes, we are ready to put plants in here now. <laughs> uh, I have this bottom space too. I could do a fourth Barina light there and put a plant on the bottom, but we'll see. I might just use that for storage or something because my original plan was to maybe put a Barina light under that shelf from Ikea and then I could put a plant on the bottom of that one. But I actually like the cord box there on that. I recently moved this one to pawn, this uh, mint poly, but I wanna go ahead and stick it in the other cabinet cause it's a little squished here. Yeah, we'll just add this one up here. This will be our first little plant baby in here. <laughs> these are next. You haven't seen these. Well, actually you have. I uh, just did the unboxing video. Was it yesterday? No, it was the day before yesterday. So these are the new babies, the Alocasia, variegated the dragon scale it's working on the new leaf and then this is the variegated black velvet <laughs> these little precious babies are going to go in here i think wow look at those those are beautiful i can fit so many plants in here that looks so cute and then i can keep an eye on them out here Okay, next little babies, we're gonna do the two Alocasia Watsonias. I just moved these to pawn as well. So we're gonna put these little babies in here. I think we'll do these on the top shelf. Since they're in pawn, they could use the air circulation up top. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, those look good. Wow, I love it so much. <laughs> All the alocasias look so good in here. I know I said I wanted to do this to be an alocasia cabinet, but now I kind of want to add a, a couple other plants. I want to add my Monstera Flame and my new hybrid, my uh, Clarinervium Mimpidato Radiatum that I crossed. I kind of want to put those in here because this is like kind of like my pride and joy. Not not pride and joy, but like plants that I just love. And I feel like I don't appreciate those as much because I'm not in my plant room as much. Only when I'm really only when I'm watering now, unless I'm filming in there, which I haven't done in a while. Let me go get those and see what they look like in here. I have the variegated poly. I forgot about too. I want to add this one in here. Monstera Flame will not fit. <laughs> He's gonna have to go back in the uh, main cabinet, but look how big it's getting. I feel like it's gonna give me a fenestration soon with the next leaf. It is beautiful, I love this one. <laughs> look how beautiful, it's, it has like Delta Force traits. Isn't it beautiful? This is my own little hybrid that I crossed. She's beautiful. I feel like I'm gonna love her in here. I feel like this is gonna be one of my top anthuriums. I'm gonna put her beside the variegated, the new variegated plants. I'm amazed that these little plastic pieces are holding the shelf with the plants. I don't know, I'm so worried about these plastic pieces, but it seems to be holding up. Are you ready for the final look? I got all the plants in here. It took me a little bit to figure out. 
uh, what to include and I l absolutely love it. This is by far my favorite uh, part of my uh, plant thing right now. I wish I could stuff some of my monsteras in here, but they're just too big. Uh, but let me show you, I love it. Let me actually, let me turn one of the lights down so maybe you can see the plants a little bit more so it's not so bright. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ashley. Yeah, that's a little better so you can actually see what's in here. So let's start with the top row. We have both Alocasia Watsonias in the back. We have the pink poly that's not that variegated. We have an itty bitty baby fry deck that's literally the size of my thumb. <laughs> it's so cute. And I end up putting my light veins Maranta here because it was just like the perfect little plant that's kind of petite that would fit in here and kind of bring some variation to that top shelf. All right, middle shelf is just stunning. So we have my beautiful hybrid here that is absolutely gorgeous. We have the two new alocasia that are stunning, these two beauties. In the very back, we have the mint poly. And then I kind of stuffed one of my uh, Monstera mints, the little babies back there. I really wanted to bring a Monstera in here and I want to keep one of the babies for me that I separated, at least for now. So I have him there in the back. He's so cute, kind of propped up. And then that's with the lights on for that shelf. So cute. So I have three alocasia on the bottom one and then my other little hybrid. I actually just went ahead and potted it up. It was still in moss. I think I might hang on to it for a little bit. I don't want to let it go. It's the same. I only had three seeds and I potted these two together. So that, that's in pond and I have this one in my aeroid mix. So this one I have on my shop uh, for those that got it. And I brought, I recently fell in love with my silver dragon again. I think because it gave me this huge leaf and it has some blip of sport variegation. Uh, my silver dragon's gotten huge and I always love the silver dragon dragon scales. That's why I got the variegated, but this one is beautiful. I love the silver dragon. I love like the silvery mint blue green tone to it. So I brought this big guy in. He kind of fits for now. He was one of my, all of my allocations are just too big to put in here. And then this is the ninja. It's supposed to be the variegated one, but it's lost the variegation on all the new leaves. Uh, it's the tissue culture, but it's kind of small and cute and petite. So I decided to put this one in here. And then this allocation in the back is one that I've had for about a year. I think it's a, I forget the name of this one, but it uh, has struggled growing for me, but it's doing well and it's given me some new leaves. It was just a tiny plug when I got it. So that one is in pond as well, and that one's in the back. So I thought, I thought that was like a cute bottom shelf here, just to kind of give some variation. And that's the cabinet from afar. It is so cute. I adore this. This will be perfect for like tiny plants, you know? I know once they start growing big, I'm gonna have to move things around and rearrange, but I love it for now. This just made me so happy. I cleared up a little room in my plant room as well because all these were in my plant room. So I can do a little bit of rearranging when I water in there again. It is so beautiful. I love everything about it. I have space up top. I could do a low light plant up there. There's no like no actual light, but whatever I put up there may not do well, but I could put something up there and maybe do like a Sansy clip light or something. Ideally, I wanted to move one of the politiforums that I have on top of the cabinet there. I have the two side by side, so I might eventually, I might eventually move one there and then I can just do the Sansy clip light because I can bring another, I can bring another cord down. And I have one here too, so I can always use that one. And then I have the bottom shelf too. So if I wanted to, I could add another barina on the bottom underneath and just Y sight it in and then do a plant like a Marietta or something down there. So I may eventually, but I think for now, this is the perfect little setup and I love all the little plants. 
So cute and adorable. If you get this cabinet, what I'll do, I'll create an Amazon uh, list in my storefront for all the supplies that I use for this specific cabinet because there is stuff in this one that I didn't put that's not on my storefront. I do have an Ikea Millsbo cabinet supply section, but whatever I use for this one specifically, I'll go ahead and put uh, a separate little list. So if you do want to re recreate something like this for you, uh, then you can see what I used. And then the Modern Aqua shells, I'll put like a link to their website, like the shelves that I bought down in the description. I don't, I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that. Uh, but if you're just wanting the same kind of setup that I did with mine. And then, yeah, I think that's about it. So I really hope you enjoyed. It's been a long day. Yeah, I've been filming for like over four hours now, actually going on five hours. This has taken me. So I didn't think it'd take this long, honestly, but uh, I love the outcome. I had some, uh, <laughs> I had some hiccups and bad words to say along the way, but it was worth it in the end, but I'm tired. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you here soon.